try them both, I think you'll find the clear winner is in television from Mattel Electronics. How's it going, everybody? How's it going, you? How's it going, you? Oh, yeah, how's it going over there? It's time for another great Mr. Postal video. And today we're going to talk about what are we going to talk about? You over there, Dino? You over there? Back there? There's a hint. You back there, is your hand up? You, you don't know? How about you back there? Today we're going to talk about... I thought you had your hand up. We're going to talk about... Diner! You see that? Diner? Do you know what Diner is? If you're here for the Intellivision, you know what Diner is. Do you remember a little game called Burger Time? Burger Time is one of my all-time favorite games. Why? Because it is one of the first arcade games, cabinets, that I ever played as a kid. And I fell in love with that game. And I love it on all systems. The original Burger Time. And <coughs> once I finally got my uh, first in television, I was an Atari kid, so I got my first in television a little over six years ago. I didn't have one as a kid. A little over six years ago, I decided to grab everything I didn't have as a kid. So I started collecting everything in television, ColecoVision, Odyssey 2, Fairchild, Channel F, all kinds of stuff. Sega, Master System, uh, the stuff that I didn't have. Uh, I got my television, played Burger Time, and uh, might not look as good as some of the other versions, but I feel that it plays the absolute best of the home ports at the time might be a little controversial because a lot of people hate the Intellivision controller, but I love it. The disc, I think, works perfect for that game. That being said, the only official sequel that came out for Burger Time back in the day came out three years later. I believe it was three years later, 1987, and that is Diner. Diner, Peter Pepper comes back. He makes a comeback in diner for your Intellivision. So what happened? The game crash happened, right? We had the game crash. Mattel got rid of, was done with the Intellivision. So INTV Corp, INTV Corporation now had the Intellivision. Things started making a comeback after the North American game crash. Uh, even Atari 2600 started making a comeback. The fun is back under 50 bucks. Well, INTV was bringing out, well, you could say another model. It was the same in television as the Intellivision One, uh, but with their branding on it. And they were looking to bring out some new games. So they wanted to bring out a sequel to Burger Time. And uh, what they did was, there was, Mattel was working on a sequel to Burger Time called Pizza Time before they decided to be done with the Intellivision. They looked for that prototype, uh, could not find that prototype. I believe from what I read, that was being made at Mattel over in France at the time. They couldn't get a hold of that. Uh, also, at the time before Mattel and Television went under, they were working on a Masters of the Universe 2 game. And that was Ray Kessner, I believe is how it's pronounced, was working on that in California at Mattel. <coughs> uh, that went under. They were able to find that prototype. They brought Ray back and decided to make Masters of the Universe 2 prototype into a sequel to Burger Time. So they made that into Diner, the sequel. So, you know, you get rid of the little E-Man and Skeletor sprites and we put Peter Pepper in there along with some evil hot dogs and some new bad guys. You had your cheap cherry, the bad bananas, and Mugsy, the mug of root beer, was the main bad guy. You needed to escape the rotten foods. And uh, you needed to kick the food balls down to the platter to serve your guests. And it was Ray's Diner. Uh, Ray, the man that created this game. So that's what they did. So now we had a sequel. So. A lot different than the original Burger Time, but still a cool idea. So this is a Masters of the Universe, a He-Man Part 2 game at its core, but now we put in new characters. So it was the game he was working on, 
Plus, I believe he was the one that made the original Burger Time for the Intellivision. Now, in 1987, he was making a new game. And you got to remember, this is when people were already deep into uh, Nintendo, so it was going to be a tough crowd, tough crowd, you know. So this is a more expensive game to try to get your hands on now. At the time, I didn't care. Uh, six years ago, when I got my Intellivision, I was like, what are the must-have games that I need to get for this system? You know, and so I went and bought a bunch of games. A lot of games I got in lots. This one I seeked out on its own, and I grabbed it. Didn't get the box for it. There are no official overlays for this. Uh, you know, when INTV Corporation made games for this, I don't believe they made any overlays for newer games. I do believe others, independents, uh, individuals may have made overlays for this game since. But there's no overlays for it. You don't need to know that uh, anything other than run around, avoid the baddies, uh, your buttons, you know, throw pepper to the left or to the right, and pepper the guys. Uh, as you run around, certain things will appear to replenish your pepper. Try to grab those if you can. Really cool ideas in this game. You run around, you'll have little elevator action. Portions of the floor will disappear and come back again. Grab stuff. Pepper the guys. Uh, you got to be careful because they're not just going to die this time. They'll disappear, but they'll respawn right there. So pepper and get the heck out. Crush them with the balls of food, whatever the food is, the lettuce and stuff like that, and get the heck out. And then there's also bonus levels in between here and there. And kick your balls of food. Get them down there to the platters and serve your hungry customers. Diner, Ray's Diner, Peter Pepper, bad wieners, bad, bad wiener. That's a bad wiener. Diner. So let's go ahead and take a look at the gameplay, and then we'll get to some wrap-up. Take a look. Check it out. Thank <laughs> you. 
I thought I threw it. 
So there you have it. That was Diner. I think it's a really fun game. It's right up there. If you have it on television and you actively play it, do it. Yeah, it is more expensive. I didn't check price charting lately. It was up there six and a half years ago when I bought it. So it's probably, you know, following trends. It's probably right up there and probably even more expensive now. It was probably about $40 when I got it. It's probably up there to $40, $50, $60 now. If you play on emul emulator, get the ROM. Uh, if you don't have the cartridge, don't want to spend that kind of money, and you happen to have an LTL, LTO cart, left turn only cart, download the ROM. But LTO carts are hard to come by, and when they are there available, they are pricey too. But then you can throw every game on there. I almost dropped my original cartridge. You don't want to do that or break it. That's Diner. I had a fun time with it. It's fun. I go back to it every now and then, though it had been a while. Uh, the bonus game came up there. I pretty much died and forgot how to even do the bonus game. So it's been a while. But yeah, you want to catch the falling meatballs, the food there, and uh, not the blinking ones. And you don't want to die when that part comes up. I just did it wrong, but you know, whatever. Tell me what you think in the comments down below. Have you ever played Niner? That is the only, as far as I know, official sequel to the game. Uh, pretty cool that it was a Masters of the Universe game originally. Pretty neat idea. And that's about it. Thank you for joining me for another great Mr. Postile video. I appreciate each and every one of you. And we hope to see you back here on the next one. And uh, I'm not sure what my next oldie game will be. Probably an Atari game. But maybe it'll be an Intellivision game. Maybe a ColecoVision game. I don't know. 
It's crazy around here. It's crazy, I tell you. We'll see you on the next one. Diner. Check it out. Nacho, come here, Nacho. No biting, no bite. Ooh, no biting. Oh, Nacho, stop.